Scout log, Atropos. Elapsed time, 30 minutes since last crash. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my... When... Whenever I return. For Aster Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. If you're hearing this, you are stuck here too. It is impossible to escape. I've tried everything. I'm always brought back by it. There is a moment between death and rebirth when tentacles drag me down, screaming, drowning, returning. Scout log, Atropos. This is my tenth return. There are four meter tall corpses littering the ground, piled up, perhaps centuries ago. I can't tell if there was civil war or genocide or mass ritualistic suicide. Some of the bodies I find of myself have been wounded in a similar manner. I don't understand how that could be possible. Scott Log, Atropos. Who triggered the broadcast? Do you see the white shadow as something only I should know? And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. Were the sentients involved? But how could they have known? I need to believe there are answers at the signal. Scout Log, Atropos. Helios is entirely broken and I must abandon hope for him. Initially I, thought to merge his sim Initially, I thought to merge his systems with those of the sentients because maybe these machines might fix him. The brightest minds on the mothership couldn't fathom this. So, I can't save him. He's gonna die. And I'll be alone. There are strange psychological encounters I've had with what can only be described as visual echoes of my previous death. At first I avoided them, but I needed to know. When I follow these echoes, they lead to a corpse. I don't feel surprised anymore. Now it's a clinical choice. Repurpose their equipment or avenge them. A tree riddled with eyes. A slaughter of bipedal vertebrates, a bed being swallowed by tentacles, the astronaut overhead, and a being that resembles me. How did they capture my likeness so perfectly? Scout log, Atrof. Beginning ascent of the mountain. I don't know what attempt this is. Despite knowing the hazards ahead, I'm having difficulty retrieving the technology. There are certain obstacles I don't look forward to re-experiencing, but I feel as though something at the top is summoning me. Xenoglyphs spoke of their single-mindedness, but did not prepare me for it. I barely managed to dispatch the sentients that attacked me. I've never encountered such hostility and madness, but that writing, it spoke of these severed brethren. I don't know enough to understand yet, but what conceivable force could have caused any intelligent life to become like this? I know why they became severed. Divine punishment for failing ascension. Ascension. No sooner has the word escaped my lips than a vast image of the transcendent watcher in the deep below consumes my mind. I've begun having visions of where I have yet to go. They lead me continually downward from Olympus and into myself. I alone am worthy. I'm relatively confident the severed would have been incapable of sending out the white shadow broadcast. The fractured nature does not display any proof of higher cerebral functions. The other sentience must still be alive at its source beyond the wall. But without a proper means of communication, will they view me as hostile as well? I haven't come here to destroy. It might be the oppressive heat, but I keep catching myself glancing over my shoulder, only to find shadows and the astronaut staring back. 
Whenever I try to reach them, I find myself in a sandstorm. I can't seem to stop this from happening. The woman who was supposed to step on the surface of another world was mom. I thought she'd be proud of me following in her where her footsteps may have taken her if she'd had the opportunity. Is that why I'm here? To go where she couldn't? Seeing that house again feels as though she's still judging me. This is it. The journey is almost over. The origin of White Shadow is right here. Soon I'll know why and bury these horrible memories in the past. So much desolation. Is this their city? It's only inhabited by corpses, broken machines. I'm heading toward the broadcast tower now. I was so goddamn close this time. If Helios wasn't broken, we could prepare a strategy. The fact that his database retains my scans after each return, it's like he transcends time and space. Can't even tell what's real anymore. The endless fall, the face with a giant. The giant with a face of flames. I always survive the shockwave and then die immediately afterwards. All evidence suggests an exceedingly regimented hive mind. Curious. How would it feel to be part of such a symphony? Okay, I'm going to redo that one. Curious. How would it feel to be a part of such a symphony? There wouldn't be any selfishness or obstacles, just endless flowing union. A beautiful song that would never stop. A hymn of liberation from want. I know these recorded logs will be psych-evaluated, but that isn't why I'm hesitant to return to my life. The idea of waking up to routine, gym, coffee, books, interacting with people, sleeping, rarely dreaming. It sounds so alien now. Prior to the war, what purpose did the hive mind have? Mindless construction is impossible. There must be an intent, intent and belonging. An almost perfect organization, each part functioning with harmony. I've never had that. How can I possibly return to my life after everything here? Now that I've encountered the laser security systems all across Atropos, I can safely conclude this. The hive mind developed this network in order to contain the severed. That was the intent. But the execution? Failure. It only slowed them down. I'm staring into a breached wall. Behind the stonework are arteries of machinery similar in structure to the robotic sentinels. If I peel back my skin, what would I discover hiding inside? Today the wind is gasping. This is where the cycle waits 63 years and 8 days for me to die. Outcursed fate, while Atlas bore and Prometheus endured, Selene hollowed. From here I can see where the horizon becomes the edges of my eye. I should have ignored this place all those years ago. I shouldn't have abandoned everyone to come here. Has nothing changed? I sat at the piano and for once I felt. The music is calling me now. How do I stop this? I don't want to become that woman who speaks madness with my voice. My lifeless ancient ship echoes these words across centuries in absolute silence. Choice and consequence may somehow have rebirthed. The cycle has been extended, but it is still eternal, infinite torment. This planet hides secrets, as does the astronaut, my house, myself, and time itself. I will rip out every one of them, 
wailing from a dark wound. I'm starting to see patterns that I know are not there. I can't trust my memories. The planet knows me better than I know myself. The hive mind and the severed are real. Helios is real. The astronaut is missing. I haven't found it anywhere. Where has it gone? Why won't the music end? I silenced it, but now it's stuck inside me. I don't desert this. You can still hear the reaper. I didn't think I could do it, but after all this time, the music is gone. I want to record this while I feel balanced. Now that the music is gone, I feel an ancient pulse at the center of the world. The hive mind discovered something in those depths. Whatever they found might be trapping me in the cycle. I must go deeper. The truth is waiting for me there. I don't remember much about my childhood. What remains of the house isn't anything worth recalling. Mother was always herself. I wasn't that bad, was I? Yes, it was me. I caused the downfall. Exquisite sacrifice. When I plunged into the depths, the drowning sphinx asked me this riddle at the cost of my soul. How do you heal a wound within a body that cannot be healed? I can smell my corpses rotting. Some are watching me from high above, others from pits. They refuse to speak with me except to say, you are severing. What have I become? This is where the hive mind retrofitted their autonomous machines, altering each one with a new purpose. Kill the severed brethren. I still remember that phrase, and I feel myself altering too. Then it becomes irresistible. If I can reach the depths, I can destroy what destroys me. I'm stronger than the severed and the cycle. What is compelling me? to seek the center of the world. Could it be the severed? That doesn't make sense, and yet the murals are indicating that they came up from out of the deep. The only answer I can decipher from the xenoglyphs are that their destruction was inevitable. Who was the destroyer? What were they trying to unearth? Glaciers in my mind ablate into deserts of severed thoughts. I follow their footsteps back to the wheelchair. Once I climbed the mountaintop hoping to ascend, soon I will sink in dark waters, transcending as all light is smothered. What wonders I will soon see in that emptiness. I remember while crossing the desert, I used to feel shadows watching me. Could they have been manipulating me instead? Not passive watchers, active participants. Krona. Chaos. What controls them? Who are they? Am I being manipulated now? If that's the case, why do I feel like I want to continue? When I shut my eyelids, there are scarlet lights staring back. 
I dive deeper now. But what if I find nothing waiting there? What if the pit continues downwards, never ending, and what remains is a return to Helios? Another end, another beginning, and my home in the cycle. I have seen the jet black skull behind the visor of the astronaut. I recognize parts of myself within those shadows fighting to be free. If it can show the world one face, then another. Have I met it before? What was the name that sat on its head? Was it the first one who said, Do you see the white shadow? Beyond the crack in the world, the sleeper of the deep descends in dangerous dreams. It offered the hive mind answers, but severed them instead. It offered the severed godhood, but crippled them instead. But it has not yet offered me anything. Why does it remain silent? After everything, am I still unworthy? Stars under the abyss are siren songs I choose to obey. A gravity that only affects my mind has shifted. Clusters of seaweed coil as tentacles, faces fixed to starlight that is incomprehensible and dark. Hold fast, my son. Terminal escape. I descend the final step of the cycle to the fractured sanctum. My shadow followed. Will it sacrifice itself too? Why has my transfer been delayed? I have ways to deal with that. Delusion. No, they're helping me stay balanced. I've made a lot of progress. What is everyone expecting to find? If they shine a light at me, they'll see the same shadow every time. To be a scout is to be on the front lines of discovery. Exactly. One of my specialties is making connections that others miss, as itemized in my fieldwork report. No, I... No. No. They're... They died a long time ago. Yes, I understand it's one way. That's why I signed up. There are no attachments pulling me back. Would it be safe for me to drive afterwards? I had no idea. But what about prep time and recovery? I'm in the middle of a lot right now, so... No, 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 it's... I, I wouldn't want anyone present. No one can know about this. Everyone is overbearing and controlling. And I haven't even told a single person about it. If they found that I was here, that we were talking. I need to talk. I know I keep putting this off, but... Everything has gone way too far this time. This is the part where I say, I'm sorry. So why don't I feel like I am? I try, but it sounds so hollow. What is this shadow inside me? I felt this before. I can't describe it except that it feels... If I name it, will that make it go away? I cannot atone, so I accept. When I laid on the side of the road dying, I understood the truth. This is my home. The sense of belonging I was searching for 
is here. This is my place in the stars. I will stay here now, as you will. There were nine floors in Gehenna. There were 29 floors in Helheim. There were 264 floors in Tartarus. The last were opening inside of me. It can end because it has now begun. Part of my intent here uh, was not to cop out by having to edit out like additional takes. So that's why I didn't pause recording when uh, my dad walked by. Uh, thank you. <laughs>